like people say it's a fake weed, that's why I hear quite a lot. And he, just I, for the just for those watching at home, the question was: Is sure. is that's okay? Is our CBD based products going to? Is the result of this forward momentum going to be that CBD starts to feel a little bit cafe? <laughs> well, one thing we didn't touch upon on this panel it probably makes sense to mention now is that when we throw around the word cannabis, for a very long time, cannabis was synonymous with THC, which is the mm -hmm. principal intoxicating ingredient. Then we discovered CBD, and now we know there's well over a hundred cannabinoids found in the cannabis plant. They occur nowhere else in the natural plant kingdom aside from the cannabis plant. Um, so, you know, CBD was the first non-intoxicating cannabinoid that people were able to develop and turn into a product because it tended to be abundant in hemp, which became legal in the U.S. as an agricultural crop in 2018. Uh, and what gets really exciting is, you know, as we learn more about CBD, how to dose it properly, how to deliver it properly, um, that can unlock further potential for its use. But then now you start talking about all the other interesting cannabinoids as well that forever have been locked in this plant that was deemed a Schedule one drug as dangerous as heroin. And now that this plant is starting to be able to com be commercialized and researched, what do all these other cannabinoids do by themselves, in synergy with CBD, how do they interact with THC? So there's a lot of whole cornucopia of things waiting to be discovered and, and utilized. I think also to a question, even when we came into CBD and we, we chose very deliberately to start there um, because we believe when it's done well, it's a really fantastic set of products that can be incredibly useful and we're very bullish about it. But people were weary. They were like, oh, another CBD, you know, because I think people have tried very inadequate um, products and I think the category has been very poorly served and part of that is because the legislation and the regulation is a little loose, you know, people are allowed to get away and you, you can't buy what we would call great CBD on Amazon. They won't allow it there to is, be There is no CBD on Amazon. So what you get is a rubbish sort of hemp seed, which doesn't, you know, and the, 